Happy Monday, everyone. This is Emmanuel for History and Coffee with our On This Day series for March 18th. Today we are talking about March 18th, 1942, when President Franklin Delano Roosevelt issued Executive Order 9102, creating the War Relocation Authority, or WRA, while ordering it, quote, to provide for the removal from designated areas of persons whose removal is necessary in the interests of national security, end quote. This accelerated the racism and xenophobia behind the framing of Japanese Americans and other targeted groups as enemies of the United States during World War II. Executive Order 9102 also put these displaced people to work as an incarcerated contract labor force. Such labor goals directly impacted chosen locations for the camps themselves. As historian Stephanie Hinnerschitz emphasizes, quote, WRA administrators and the Army Corps of Engineers placed the potential for labor projects for Japanese Americans at the top of their list of specific requirements for a site to be considered for hosting a camp, end quote. She also stresses the public relations campaign that sought to portray this incarcerated labor as voluntary to maintain civilian support for the forced displacement program. Bringing these points together, Hinnerschitz sharply summarizes that, quote, war, racism, and labor shortages led to the creation of a new exploitable source of labor, end quote. Anti-Japanese propaganda was spread across the United States to try to justify this forced incarceration and relocation. I now want to read from the memoir of Mary Matsuda Grunewald, a Japanese American who along with her family was forcibly evacuated from their home in Washington state. Writing about the day she left, she reflected, quote, evacuation day changed my life forever. Each of us carried two heavy suitcases as we walked down the road. Anger and fear held a nauseous grip on my stomach. My thighs tightened as my toes grabbed at the earth, our earth, through the soles of my shoes, a futile attempt to stay rooted in my home. Above, barnyard swallows dipped and soared through the gray, still sky, twittering sporadically. Turbulent thoughts and feelings swirled through my mind and heart. Why is this happening to us? What have we done to justify such a drastic order? I turned to Mama-san and asked, why do we have to leave? Why are they making us go? Mama-san turned her sad eyes towards me and quietly said, Japan has attacked Pearl Harbor. There is fear that she will attack the West Coast. It is best that we leave. Somehow, her answer didn't feel very satisfying. I had never been away from home, even to a friend's house, for more than one night. Now I was leaving against my wishes, perhaps forever, and I didn't even know where we were going." End quote. Thank you for watching today's edition of our On This Day video series. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.